Let's go. And we will see. Hello, this is Shola Boy today, and thank God it's Friday. Friday, the 10th day of November 2023. And because we've been reading virtually full chapters of the book of Ecclesiastes, this morning, today, we'll be reading another chapter of the book of Ecclesiastes with the look out for the topic being to maintain a good relationship with God and man. That's the topic. Maintain a good relationship with God and man. That's the whole duty of man anyway. It's still there in that same book of Ecclesiastes in chapter 12, verse 13. you find it there. And when Jesus was also going to talk about the essence of the law, he said, fear God, love God, love man. So perhaps... That's the message for today, but we still must read from the scripture, so let's go read from Ecclesiastes in chapter 5. Are you set? Let's go now. Guard your steps when you go to the house of God. To draw near to listen is better than to offer the sacrifice of fools, for they do not know that they are doing evil. Be not rash with your mouth, nor let your heart be hasty to utter a word before God. For God is in heaven and you upon earth, therefore let your words be few. For a dream comes with much business and a fool's voice with many words. When you vow a vow to God, do not delay paying it, for he has no pleasure in fools. Pay what you vow. It is better that you should not vow than that you should vow and not pay. Let not your mouth lead you into sin, and do not say before the messenger that it was a mistake. Why should God be angry at your voice and destroy the works of your hands? For when dreams increase, empty words grow many. But do you fear God? If you see in a province the poor oppressed, and justice and rights violently taken away, do not be amazed at the matter, for the high official is watched by a higher, and there are yet higher ones over them. But in all, a king is in advantage to a land with cultivated fields. He who loves money will not be satisfied with money, nor he who loves wealth with gain. This also is vanity. When goods increase, they increase who eat them. And what gain has their owner but to see them with his eyes? Sweet is the sleep of a laborer, whether he eats little or much, but the surfeit of the rich will not let him sleep. There is a grievous evil which I have seen under the sun. Riches were kept by their owners to his heart, and those riches were lost in a bad venture. And he is father of a son, but he has nothing in his mind. As he came from his mother's womb, he shall go again, naked as he came, and shall take nothing for his toil which he may carry away in his hand. 
this is also grievous a grievous evil just as he came so shall he go and what gain has he that he toiled for the wind and spent all his days in darkness and grief in much vexation and sickness and resentment behold what i have seen to be good and to be fitting is to eat and drink and find enjoyment in the toil which one toils under the sun the few days of his life which god has given him for this is his lot every man also to whom god has given wealth and possession and power to enjoy them and to accept his lot and find enjoyment in his toil this is a gift of god for he will not much remember the days of his life because god keeps him occupied with joy in his heart this is the word of the lord thanks be to god you know all that you have had that i have read out to you now you probably also read it along with me you are to maintain a good relationship with god because he is the one that made you is the one not only that created he made you who you are all of what you have have been from god so you need to be always thankful to him to also see how you can help and maintain the healthy living of your other people around you your vertical relationship with god showing respect showing appreciation showing thanksgiving and your horizontal relationship with fellow men around you to be sure that because they are also creatures of god god will be happy with you when you maintain such a good relationship with them like i said earlier on that's what jesus christ himself said when a pharisee wanted to test, test him and wanted to know which was the uh crux of the law and jesus christ told him that you love god with all your might with all of your soul your all of your being and that you love your fellow men there is nothing more that we need to add to that if you are not yet doing that get cracking now start loving god start uh, building a good relationship with him start loving fellow men start building a good relationship with them and if you yet do not have such a good relationship with god right now come come give your life to jesus christ our lord and savior so that that can be established and you know it will be a lot easier for you to maintain the horizontal one once the vertical one is firmly established if you are set for that just say this prayer say lord jesus i come to you right now i want to maintain a good relationship with you and uh, with men around me i know that you died for me and that you rose again and you reign in glory right now forgive me of all the sins of the past because that is the essence of your shedding your blood and from today lord even as i open my life to you i pray that you accept me as one of yours through jesus christ our lord i pray amen did you just say that prayer welcome to the fold of faith you need to find the bible believing church where you can grow in learning how to maintain a good relationship with god and man i always recommend that you join us in the anglican church or okay estate extension we worship for now in the chapel hall of the olive branches midland high schools extension that would be on sundays nine o'clock in the morning or on tuesdays five o'clock in the afternoon you can see some bank account details right now on the screen join us in building a good place where we can have a good relationship with god and men that is our church building and as you go out this beautiful friday say this prayer say dear lord fill me with your joy and help me to do your will each day of my life maintaining a good relationship with you and with men around me i pray through jesus christ our lord amen so go out today and remember maintain a good relationship with god and men and it will be well with you god bless you Pray.